Hello everyone, welcome to Divine and Wild Tarot. In today's Pick a Card reading, we're gonna go over what do people say behind your back. If you're totally new to this channel, I warmly welcome you to this community. I'm an energy reader and this channel is all about tarot readings, connecting with the divine and channeled messages. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you're totally new to pick a card videos, all you have to do is pick a number between one, two, and three. Or you can look over here and pick between this pile number one, pile number two over here, and pile number three. And once you've chosen your number, go down to the description box below and you can find the timestamp correlating the number. Click on the timestamp and that is where your reading will start today. And without further ado, let's start with group number one. Hello, group number one. How are we all doing today? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Thank you so much for being here and supporting this channel by simply checking this video out. Okay, first card is on the floor. Okay, so two cards have landed on the floor, flew out of my hands to reach your eyes and ears. You have communion and breach. Let's pull more cards out so we get a full message. Pile number one, what do people say behind their back? Hmm. I feel like you guys are more introverted or even if you're not super introverted, although I feel that you guys mostly are, there might be one or two people that are watching this like, nah, I'm extroverted, I like going out, I like to party, I like to just be in the middle of it all. Well, a lot of people think that you guys are innovators, you guys are really unique, you guys are eccentric, you guys are able to stand out from the crowd in so many ways like you guys are jumping out of the ocean completely standing out even though you guys may like to keep to yourselves in some way shape or form you do stand out no matter how hard you try to not stand out because you guys are so unique the way you are with how you carry yourself the way you think the things that you do the things that you invent the things that you create and the way that you move and the way that you go about life is extraordinarily unique and that is what most people have to say about you behind your back and they don't mention anything about it to your face is because they feel like you guys already know you are this unique that this is just who you are and you're fully aware of it and to some people i find that most of the time it's lovers or potential or people that have a crush on you they find this a little bit intimidating about you the fact that you are so extraordinarily unique and so um it's this is you creating things and i just see this very eccentric person that an eccentric is a really positive connotation and that you guys are so far from the normal. There is this thing about you, pile number one, that makes people feel complete, that makes people feel whole. Like it's a very fulfilling experience to be near you and to be around you and to be interacting with you. You have the synergy and the completion card, which is very heartwarming, heart filling cards, where it feels like the heart space is just swelling up. The way that you are, pile number one, is that you're so heart centered. You go, you, you march to the beat of your own drum. You are able to just live your life and live your day to day in a way that people don't really understand. And they have a lot to say behind your back because you're constantly this topic of conversation for some people's lives. For some people, like you guys are brought up quite a bit because no one can ever figure you out. People always want to just almost find entertainment in your existence because you're so out of the ordinary that that's just going to keep coming up. The out of the ordinary, just so out of the norm, completely unique. Those are just key words that are essentially you or this is how other people see you anyway and this is what mainly what people talk about behind your back is that you're so out there and that you're so innovative and you're so different and i find that a lot of people see that in a good way this, these are all positive things that they see and say about you 
look it's like every time they interact with you when sometimes you come across people's paths and it's like you're opening this brand new door of perspective that they have never seen before and that's who you are you are this fresh opening to humanity essentially with the way you are with the way you talk and with the way that you are being just naturally being in this existence that is life and in this incarnation in the body that you're in you are able to provide to people around you and to the people that you meet this entirely new perspective that they would have never thought before if they did not meet you so yes you guys are absolutely the introverted type or maybe you're just more selective with who you open up to because we have the retreat card and because you are able to harness so much source energy and people can feel that even though they may not say this or really think it in these exact words they feel your energy where it's so out of this world and they can feel subconsciously and energetically that you guys are able to channel from the ether very easily and that's how you are so creative and so individualistic as well because you spend time alone and when you spend time alone you're able to channel clear messages from the ether and from the divine and what you need to do next and what you need to create next and so it's like this very special connection that you have with the divine that people can feel and it's this level of power this level of um you know that the universe truly does have your back and it's hard to describe this power because when someone is so connected and so pure it's almost like they are whole and complete without anyone else and that energy can be very intimidating to some people because some people walk around half empty, half lost, half broken, still hurting from their last relationships, hurting in general because of life sometimes. Whereas in your case, pal number one, people can feel that you are self-sufficient, that you are able to create things out of thin air on your own. You are able to be by yourself and be happy at the same time and so that level of self-efficiency can scare people sometimes because they don't understand how you can be so independent and so well off and just good to go without anyone else and that's amazing pal number one because whether you feel this or not this is how people see you from the outside anyway okay so and um, like I was saying, that is just such an amazing way to be because when you come together with other people, you are bringing all of you to the table and creating magic as two whole human beings. So let's see. Again, you have, look, you have the crib. And so this is about creation, new things. You guys are always creating new things that are really surprising to people every time you make something every time you do something people are like oh my god there she goes again there he goes again making doing something completely different and insane and wild and amazing all at the same time people respect you you know sometimes these uh, pick a card readings can come out one or way or the other you know more negative or more positive and people behind your back are saying quite good things about you sometimes it's neutral you know not everyone is everyone's cup of tea in terms of like people prefer the more normal type where you guys are completely not normal and so a lot because of your uniqueness and the what you bring to the table and how whole and complete you are as an independent individual people really respect you you have the crown you are wearing the crown people see you as someone that is wearing the crown so that is just great energy good for you guys pal number one like who are you that's amazing so look you have um a bag of coins you got a bag of coins people think that you guys are just well off people think that you don't need any help although like everyone needs help and you know you do need to reach out for help if you feel like you need that support um 
although this reading is about what people say behind your back and so this is what people do say behind your back is that they don't feel like you need help ever and that you're good to go and that you're well off and you have everything all your ducks in order that's the impression that you have on other people or that people have on you i mean so sometimes people can tell when you are a little bit lost in the forest some people can tell that sometimes when you're struggling it's quite obvious to your close friends especially in your family and all they can do is just love you from afar and it's almost like because you have this respect card people don't dare to come near you until you ask for their attention until you you approach them that's how they see it so whether you are intentionally being this way or not it's like you created this like force field around you where people don't feel like they can really approach you unless you open the door for them first okay interesting i was i feel like these last two cards and what i've been talking about is about like reaching out and it's almost like an advice coming through from spirit saying that you do you can reach out and it is time to reach out for some support because you know, you can build so many things as an independent, solo type of person, but you can go so much further in like a posse of your favorite people. Going as a group, you can just go so much further. Think of a pack of lions. At the end of the day, we are social animals and we're like monkeys. We're like a pack of you know hyenas or wolves i don't know why my brain goes to that but because they travel in packs and they're usually in a community of of other wolves or other hyenas or like monkeys they usually travel in groups and families and so we as humans are similar in a sense that we are social animals and we do thrive and generally do better with other people in the picture helping each other out so okay interesting i'm trying to do a reading about what people are saying behind your back and so you know people again so when people see and feel that you're struggling they unfortunately or fortunately maybe this is what you've created for yourself and this is what you've wanted is for people to leave you alone when you are just figuring life out and so people do see that struggle and they do just leave you alone because that's the energy you give off you just want to figure it out yourself and that's what you have been doing for a long time and so and in that way it makes it might make you feel a little bit alone and people see you as this person that's able to just venture into the darkness alone to you guys people see you as very brave people people think that and say that you guys are able to just tackle on hard and difficult projects and life situations on your own you guys are strong you guys are um able to conquer any darkness that comes your way and so whether you feel like this is what you've created or not this is sort of how people view you and how people interact with your energy and so if you feel like you need to reach out you totally can and people love you i feel you have you have respect people see that you make good money and that you bring a lot of joy and stability into people's lives when people have something to say behind your back and when you're not in the room people actually quite respect you and have a lot of positive things to say about you almost like in some sense for some people they are almost scared to say anything bad about you because they are afraid or they just don't want any bad words traveling back to your awareness in a sense so yeah look at you you're so look at this imagery of this man here you guys are confident you guys are connected to source you guys are just strong-headed and strong-willed and so people feel and people say that you guys are just entirely independent and he or she is just good to go and and you are in fact someone that comes towards to find support and to find healing and to find confidence and to find 
answers to you know you are the person that people come to or look up to when it comes to like when they're struggling or when they're trying to figure out what they want to do with their lives they actually look up to who you are whether it's the things that you post online or the things that you do or the things that you create you know people find a lot of inspiration from your life and you as a person as a whole so that is the reading I have for you guys group number one if you liked it consider giving a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so i'll see you in another reading bye for now hello pile number two how are we all doing today let's find out what do people say behind your back if you want a private reading you can find my etsy link in the description box below Ooh, you guys have a very colorful personality and people think that about you as well interesting all right let's pull out the full imagery Pile number two, so I find that people have a lot to say about you when it comes to your creativity and how divine and feminine you are and just if you are a guy watching this, it's more so like your energy is godlike. It's very from the source. It's so pure and it's so colorful and so vibrant you do just follow along with how you feel you guys are emotional you guys go with the waves of your emotions and your being and this is what people say behind your back is that you truly just are it's almost i don't want to say the word hippie because hippie just has this whole ball of connotation around it although you guys have that relaxed uh, energy around you people find that you guys have a very calm way of being very gentle in nature you guys are able to create things when you just want to create things and it turns out beautiful every single time so let's see releasing allegiances faith in the process seeing the true you and what do you feel so you guys are very emotional bases i was saying i would not be surprised if you guys have heavy water placements in your chart you guys are able to just completely be trusting the process and not letting anyone or anything say anything different from how you feel because how you feel is the truth and people can see that and that's what they say is that don't get in this person's way because they're just gonna do what they're gonna do and at the same time people really admire you and respect you in the sense that you guys are able to be so gentle and strong at the same time Ugh dropping cards today so you guys also have the queen of swords and the knight of swords so i feel like people will say that you guys are very cutthroat when it comes to you having an opinion or saying something you're adding to a conversation people feel like you're very dry and straight to the point which is like a totally a good thing in my opinion coming from a sagittarius you guys are able to just set it straight and you know what you want and you're not going to take anything less than what you are willing to accept from life and from others. So people have this, it's interesting that what people, the perception of you in other people's eyes is that you come across as this person that is really straightforward, that is able to just say what she or he wants to say and without holding back because that's how you feel. And I find that when people have something to say behind your back that is like, uh, it's like you take on a lot of stuff, you take on a lot of almost burdens, you take on a lot of projects, you take on a lot of tasks, and we can all relate to this in one way, shape, or form, and maybe I'm just speaking for myself, is that you guys, when people have something to say, they're like, okay, this person's really creative, this person's really gentle and kind and really sweet, actually. People think you guys are super sweet. And... At the same time, it's like there's this parallax, there's this irony when it comes to you as an individual. People think you're kind and sweet and beautiful and just 
have that relaxed nature, but when it comes to interacting with you and talking to you, you're very cut straight and dry to the point and you are not going to take any BS for anything. And and when people see you taking on life, it's that they feel like you're taking on too much sometimes. And so they sometimes wonder and they don't ever tell this to your face because they feel like maybe you guys have had it figured out or that this is just how you want to live your life. But they are thinking this and they think that you guys are taking on a lot of things and they don't know why you're taking on so many things, but they can see sometimes that you're overwhelmed. And that's totally normal in this day and age for us to be taking on a lot of things. And so... And in your case, it's like when you do take a lot on a lot of things, people can see like, okay, you're like mentally strapped. You're mentally just like not having it. And so it's like people can see when you're struggling and people also respect you though, because you know what you want. And that's also partially why they don't actually say this to your face is because like they think that you guys have it all figured out and this is exactly what you want in the process. Although they can sometimes see you are managing too many things at the same time. Like look at all of these swords, look at all of these sticks. And so it's like, you're taking on all these projects, all these ideas, you're holding on to it and you're going about your life holding on to these sticks and then all these thoughts and stuff. So, you know, like I feel also that some of your close friends really wish that you would, uh, you know, simplify your life because they want the best for you. Your friends, some of your close friends really truly want the best for you and they want to see you enjoy life and stuff. And so when you are glowing and shining, it's when you're just holding one sword. It's when you're just really clear and you're just really precise in holding that one project, that one idea and focusing your energy. That's when you truly shine. And although people don't actually literally say these words, they energetically feel that you guys are glowing when you guys are able to just focus one thing at the same at, at a time instead of sometimes um, sometimes you guys hold on to too many things and it's okay to just let go. Like your friends, people are just saying like, I wish this pile number two would just let all these things go and, and not let yourself mentally, mentally suffer anymore. Like people want to, it's interesting, the energy I feel around you that when people have something to say when you're not in the room is that they actually genuinely care about you. It's this genuine caring energy that I can't help but to notice. So that's really nice. So people do truly have your back and you know, they think that sometimes you just overwhelm yourself and that's all. And sometimes that happens to all of us at some point in our lives, but more so in your case, I guess in this day, in this time, and whenever you're seeing this video, this is sort of what people are generally saying or noticing about you these days. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you found this is whenever you're meant to hear this. It's such a nice energy that you guys have around you in terms of what do people say behind your back. It's that it's almost like spirit wants to remind you that people do truly have your back. You have the eagle, you know, people watching over you, your mom, your dad, your your grandparents, you know, people like spirit has your back. Your friends have your back. I feel like you have because of this really lovely energy that you are as an individual that I feel from you guys when I tune in, and this is sort of a resemblance. This is the first card you guys got from all the cards that I've pulled so far. And this is how people see you too, colorful, lots of ideas, and you guys know what you want, and spirit is always guiding the way. So using your mind wisely, again, people think that you guys are super smart, you guys are sharp, you guys are able, you guys are intelligent, you guys have the wit, you guys have the intelligence and wisdom to work things out. People think you're smart, people think you're intelligent, people think that you know exactly what is right. So claiming your power, you know, people sense and feel and say when it comes to you coming up in conversations is that you have all this power and it's like, unrealized power is what I want to say. People feel like you guys 
can utilize your power, your intellect, your wisdom and your experiences in life a lot more efficiently. You know, people see you in this light that you guys are this big and grand, amazing individual. And yet you don't fully live into your potential. So, you know, a lot of people can recognize that energy is energy. It's people can read it, people can feel it, people can see it, people can see the potential in you and yet they feel like you haven't been living into it fully yet. And I got to say some people that are not your friends, people that are not in your close circle, people that don't actually care about you, they are happy that you're not living in your fullest potential because they see you as competition. They want to keep you small so that they can be big. You know, there are people like that out there, um, unfortunately, more often than not. So that's why you want to keep your circle tight. That's just a fundamental life thing to do is to, you know, make sure that you fully trust your circle and that you're picking the right friends. Look, so you guys have the rabbit spirit energy. This card, it says now is a lucky time. People feel like you guys are lucky individuals. They feel like you have a lot of things and have a lot going for you than most people. When you come up in conversations and what people say behind your back is that you guys are kind hearted, very, um, how, you guys have a soft energy to you and that they think that oh, pile number two is just super lucky and they have, they're have they totally fine and they're well off. They can take care of themselves and they have so much going on for them. They, people feel like you have a lot of things going on for you in terms of your, again, potential, um, your ideas and bringing them to life and creating businesses out of them, your ideas of where to travel to, where you live. You are very capable of coming up with very genius ideas and intelligent ways to live life, intelligent ways to create products, intelligent ways to g get to the next stage in life and become a better, more evolved version of who you were even just yesterday. And so people see that power within you. And then there's your close friends that really care about you, that wish that you truly live into that we have the nightingale spirit love is all around you have a lot of people that love you a lot of people that sing for you and pray for you yeah that you are able to overcome obstacles and people just want to see you grow and live into your potential that's just that is the theme of your reading is that most of the time what people have to say behind your back is that hey you guys are amazing people amazing friends amazing whatever you are to other people daughter dad you know son person whoever however people see you they feel as though you guys are able to overcome anything and everything that comes your way that might be hindering you so it's interesting and it's an amazing energy because people really truly believe in you and your life and where you're going in life as well. So this has been a very heartwarming, supportive reading. Pile number two, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you in another reading. Bye for now. Hello, pile number two. How are we all doing today? Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Let's see what people have to say behind your back for pile number three, please. Oh, that's really lovely. People think quite highly of you, pile number three, which is great. So people, what they say behind your back is that they think you're quite high maintenance and that you guys are really extra and you guys are, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys had Leo placements or you just simply like to look your best because I find that you guys have a lot of people that admire you and have a crush on you and that they like you in that way. You guys have a lot of suitors. You guys have a lot of people that uh, you are people's cups fulfilled. You guys are a lot of people's cups fulfilled kind of thing where people trust you. When people have something to say, this is an 
awfully positive reading. Sometimes you never know with this type of a topic, you don't know if it comes out bad or good. And I find that what most people have to say about you is that, okay, pile number one, they like to take care of themselves. They like to get their hair done all the time. They are, they all, you guys always look cleaned up. You guys always look sharp. And so that's amazing. Pile number three, people feel like they can trust you. People love and admire about you. It's almost like I feel this sense of infatuation around you when people, when I tune into your energy and what people have to say about you and how they feel about you, I feel a sense of infatuation around you. And so, of course, if people are infatuated about you, they feel they're going to have a really positive light on you, almost like they put you on a pedestal. I do feel that energy. I didn't feel this energy for pile number one or two, but for pile number three, this is sort of becoming more of like a... Pile number three people, some people see you as a celebrity or someone that is about to be a celebrity. Something like that. You know, people don't want to mess with you. They don't want to be in your, in your bad books. They want to make sure that they have a good impression um, when that they leave for you when they hang out with you or when they interact with you. So interesting. You have dream. I never get this card. It says dream, dream sweet sleep what <laughs> who worded these cards dream sweet sleep deep okay sleeps sleep that's deep and last till more oh my god can so who who wrote these cards it's really hard to read i'm just going to put it in the camera so you guys can see what i'm trying to read right now um, anyway, okay, let's get back to tuning into your energy. So pile number three. Okay, interesting. Are you guys deep sleepers? Are you guys really good at sleep? Do you guys take a lot of naps? I wouldn't be surprised if this was my pile as well. And like, you know, sometimes I check out my own reading readings to get and my own just to entertain myself with my own pick of cards. And sometimes, you know, it's interesting because like I go to my own pick of cards whenever I need to figure something out in my life. And sometimes like I have this life changing epiphany by just like watching myself <laughs> that. OK, sorry, that was kind of weird. But so, OK, pile number three, people think that you're super confident. This is an extraordinarily positive reading. Pile number three, when people have something to say behind your back, is that first of all you're very loving you're very caring you're very you're a trustworthy person the impression that you give off to people is that you're trustworthy which is a really amazing trait because not everyone have this like god gifted almost like talent that you're trustworthy some people are naturally not trustworthy like you look at them and you sense them and you just don't want anything to do with that or you can just tell they're not very stable and so you don't really trust that whereas in your case pile number three people feel that they can really trust you and that you have this next level of confidence that is unique and almost hard to find you guys are dreamers you guys so the type of signs that i'm like the energies that i'm feeling is more like this fire sign because of like the glamour almost like that leo energy of loving to doll yourself up and making yourself the main character and you totally are the main character energy when you walk into a room when people talk about you when people are thinking about you you're totally the main character and so when it comes to the confidence so it's like that uh aries or sagittarius type energy but when it comes to this energy of uh deep sleep and connecting so deeply and divinely into the ether it's almost that pisces energy so it's a really interesting mix of who you are as an individual i find that in general pile number three people have a lot of good things to say about you mostly because it's almost like you've casted this spell either intentionally or not intentionally it's almost as if you've casted a spell onto people where they feel like they're just basically in love with you pile number three 
So let's tune into what, you know, other people that are not under your spell that are like totally just woke and okay, pile number three. What do people have to say behind your back? Okay, people that are sort of more on your level and kind of get where you're at and that don't have this like putting you on a pedestal type of way. There's like that whole group of people in your life that sees you in that way. And then there's like a smaller group of people that are, you know, they respect you. They're your friends or maybe they're your colleagues or co-workers, business partners, etc, etc. People that see you kind of more in a level-headed way. Pile number three, I feel like those type of people also do respect you and see you in a very good light. They feel like you guys are able to have a calm sense of demeanor. People feel like you have your life figured out. You are standing on stable grounds and that when they are near you, they feel that you are calm, that you are put together. And it, uh, can I get a clarifying card, please, for the new beginnings? Right, so you are action oriented, uh, which ties into that whole fire energy where it's very action oriented, very, you know, making things happen in the 3D. And when people have something to say behind your back that, you know, respect you and see you and as an equal sort of a light, they think that you guys are able to create many great things. You know, I find that you generally surround yourself with quite good people because, you know, most people aren't saying nasty things about you. They're sort of almost minding their own business and they uh, see this in you because they see this in themselves as well as that they're able to, you know, get their ducks in order and, you know, they prefer a calm, peaceful living environment. They prefer a calm and peaceful life where they are just, you know, drama and all of those nasty things. No one has time for that anymore. No one wants to deal with that. If you're going to give off bad vibes, you're just out the door. Like, see you later. So when it comes to, you know, people think that you're really great at creating opportunities for yourself. You know, when people have something to say, whenever you come up in conversations like, oh, yeah, pal number three, that person, they're just they're able to, they're just very action oriented. They're always doing something. And, you know, I find that they don't have so much like you're not, which is more of a good thing than a bad thing. It's more people what people think. It's more what people think about you and feel about you, I feel like, in this case scenario, because although you do come up in conversation, sometimes it's, it comes out in little, like, small spurts, though. It's like, oh, yeah, pile number three. Like, they're really cool people, and they almost, like, people that are, like, that have a crush on you, they don't want to give off that big crush energy. They're just trying to, like, keep it down. They don't want to reveal to other people that they have this giant crush on you. And then there's the other people that respect you that are sort of on your same page. And like, they're just, they, they respect you in the sense that they see that you're taking action and that you're action oriented and that you make things happen in your life and around you. And so, you know, it's kind of that calm energy that I'm sensing around you, you know, like, uh, yeah, I get that there's some social circles or that if you work in like an, an environment, like if you're in a restaurant environment, yeah, there, there can be gossip and stuff like that. But I find that in this day and age, people don't have time to like talk about other people all the time. And so... Uh, which is nice. So pile number three, it's like you give off this more mature, more independent energy. And that's why your reality is also reflecting that where people don't really spend a lot of time gossiping or talking behind your back per se, because you guys, that is the reality you guys have created for yourself. You are in this more mature, more um kind of evolved and completely leveled up way of living and being and so it's just this deep respect that ha people have for you see you are so entirely talented at what you do people think you're totally sealed it's like pal number three oh yeah that person is really talented and they can't wait for to see what you create next.
really great with animals, really great with children. And you guys are just this nurturing individual and it's this, uh, it just can't help but to keep mentioning this peaceful vibe around you. You guys are able to just mind your own business and get things done and work on what you, like no one, the chariot card, nothing can stop the chariot. The chariot will never be stopped and you guys are literally unstoppable force of nature new beginning so you got the new beginnings twice actually <clears throat> yeah so people feel like you guys are almost creating this new world and, and it's like you are in your own world creating a new world around you everyone you touch everyone every every person that you meet it's like you are helping them see life in a different way which is very unique i feel like you guys are you guys like in school or mastering something maybe a skill or a, a refining a talent i feel like people just notice and say like oh yeah pile number three that person's just working really hard and just doing really good at what he or she does i get all of that vibe that respect that and then like there's these fanboys or fangirls that are like infatuated with you of like you and your confidence and then like your colleagues and your you know your um maybe your friends or your people that you go to school with or people that you work with stuff like that they just see that you guys are really hard working and that you guys um are respected in a sense that you guys are able to keep the peace and you guys are able to just mind your own business and just continue to make things happen for yourself and for people around you so that is the whole energy i feel for you guys pile number three i hope you liked it if you did consider giving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so and i'll see you in another reading bye for now